composing and piano has always gone together. I've always loved playing piano. I started playing piano as soon as I could get onto the bench. So both of my older sisters were playing piano and I always liked to do what they did. So I remember I would just try to get on, on there and I didn't want anybody to tell me anything. I just wanted to like play around with the sounds, <laughs> like see what this sounds like. And I would just, as long as I, I would just spend a lot of time at the piano. But once I was allowed to start studying at five, by then I was already composing music. I didn't call it that yet, but I would, um, Whatever I was working on in my lessons, I might improvise on that, and then it would lead to something that I would memorize, and I would have like a through-composed piece. They started off very short when I was that young, but I would have like a through-composed piece that I would memorize, and my parents um, started making sure I recorded these. They're like, you gotta keep track of these. Like, and that let me know that it was something important. Like, I knew it was something fun. And then I had a teacher who I studied with who taught me to wear capos. I would have my lessons with her. And she'd always leave some space at the end. So there was always space for like whatever I wanted to, including the lesson. And there was always some time at the end in case I wrote something that week. I'd say, here's something I made up. I consider piano to be my main communication. Over the years, I've gotten better with words, but like, like especially when it's talking about emotions and stuff, but <laughs> Well, early on, I would I, I just leave that to the piano. So uh, that's it's, it's, so piano still has that role for me. Like if I really want to like go within, I, I go to the piano. <laughs>